Bye. 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 Sorry, that was my cat. All right, I got Emily here on the phone. We're going to do our little podcast thing. All Say right, hi. That's our intro. Was <laughs> that our intro? <laughs> Scooty doop doop <laughs> Welcome to Twitch Lab, where we talk about things from Tourette's to not Tourette's. Delora, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I had a big oh, day right. yesterday. Laura, would you like to introduce yourself and I'll introduce myself? Oh, yeah, I'm Laura. What's up? <laughs> and I'm Emily Sullivan, and I have Tourette's. Laura, do you know what Tourette's syndrome is? No, I don't. Please let please tell me. <laughs> Tourette's syndrome is a neurological or brain disorder, meaning that I can't whoop, 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 gender queer giraffe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry. I think you literally just explained it. <laughs> Where I have uncontrolled sounds, jobs, and movements. And um this is hey, okay, this is take two, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. So, Tourette's is a brain disorder. It means that I can't control sounds, shouts, and movements. Makes things very difficult for me and for many people who have Tourette's syndrome. About two hundred thousand individuals in the United States have Tourette's syndrome to some level. So, they, and even more have just tics in general. There are a lot of tic disorders, but Tourette's syndrome is said to be the most severe. And um, I have a severe case of the severe. But you know, I know people who have it worse than me, and I am grateful that my tics are not as bad as they have been in the past. So hopefully I'm growing out of some of them. <laughs> so uh, Laura, would you like to explain a little bit about where I've been for the past 71, or 61 days? Sadly, she's been in the mental ward of a hospital. I miss her very, very much, but she's getting better. Right? That's a lie. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I am getting better. <laughs> Um, I would not be doing a video right now if I didn't feel like I was in a good place. You know, I don't want to trigger anybody, but it looks like there might be a place I'm moving to after here. And hopefully I can get some more content out, you know, explaining to Reds and just making funny videos. But if not, Laura has agreed that she's going to make videos on how to put up a hammock and show you the trees in <laughs> their backyard. Yeah. So get ready to lose some subscribers. I ladies and gentlemen. I know, ready? <laughs> No, I'm totally kidding. It's going to be great. Laura's dope. You all know that. We all love her. Sam, sorry. It's all good. Hey, it's hard. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So, Laura's pronouns are they and them. Uh, or so you can call me, hey, that me. ding dong over there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please, in the comments, refer to Laura as that ding dong. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just going to go do that. But if you do that, it will make me happy, and I will hear about it. That's, good. that's, that's so funny. All right, so, ding dong, uh, what's the weather like out there? It's actually really, really nice out. Nice. I don't know I the, the temperature, but... Oh, yeah, the leaves are changing. It's, like, down by the woods. Like, it's so beautiful. All the leaves are, like, falling off. It's all very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> I miss that. When I came into this hospital, it was the 8th of September, and it was, like, 86 degrees here in the suburbs of D.C. It was a nice day. The leaves were nice and green. And in my room, I can look out and I can see across the hospital. You know, I, I can see where the helicopters come in because we're in a trauma ward. And I can see or we're in a trauma hospital. I'm not, I'm not oh, my God. Department, just, just being clear. Um, but, no, I have a beautiful view of trees. And they were so green and lush and bright and vibrant when I came in here. And now they are just dying in, in beautiful blazing color. It's absolutely wonderful. So, I've been in this hospital for a while, and you might be wondering why I'm in this hospital. Laura, do you know why I'm in this hospital? I do. Why am I in this hospital? Because you got depressed, and the depression took over. So, you it, needed it help. Did. You I couldn't deal help. with it yourself, so you needed to go get help, and I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. And for anybody who's struggling with mental health or suicidality or just depression or needs med balance, can you tell them, is there any shame in coming to a mental hospital? No shame. And uh, at the end, like, I will put um, the numbers for, like, suicide hotlines and stuff down in the bottom. And the, what is it called? The description or whatever? The description, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll put that stuff down there for if anyone is struggling or anything. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. That is of absolutely course. wonderful. Because I know yeah. how much mental health can hurt someone. That ding dong over there has also struggled with mental health. Yes, this years. ding dong has. <laughs> <laughs> that ding dong and I have gotten 
better through the years together. All right, I'm switching back to they, them. <laughs> they have gotten so much better, and I have gotten so much better, but there are still times when, in the fight against mental health, you'll lose a battle, and I lost one. And the biggest reason for me losing this battle was I couldn't deal with society's pressures on Tourette's syndrome. You know, I come on here, I talk about how much I like it, and then recently I opened up that Tourette's has been really difficult, very detrimental, and, you know, my relationships with strangers, which I don't need to make relationships with strangers, but I don't like the fact that people judge me and then forever think that I'm an incredibly rude person or an incredibly racist person or because an incredibly offensive person. I don't like that. No, be- first of all, just to set the uh, record straight, Emily is the most caring and loving person ever. Well, to me at <laughs> least. No, but she is so caring and loving and, you know, she wouldn't hurt anyone unless they hurt me back. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's yeah. incredibly sweet of you. Let's also think of all the times that we have punched each other. <laughs> a but, lot. But that's like um, playing, though. But anyways. <laughs> so it was Labor Day. So it was the 7th of September. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's a video I have about do you need a, you know, an acceptable path to have ticks that are offensive, you know? Um, it says, my disability, my rules, and it says, do you need a pass if you have Tourette's syndrome or coprolele or something like that? And I'm wearing my pink Jungle Cruise shirt. That's what I call it. And um, this is a bit of a trigger warning, but a couple hours after that video was updated and put up, I tried to take my life. And the reason behind that was I had an incident. It was Labor Day. I went to Target with Damien, who's my service dog. And unfortunately, I have paralytic ticks, and I was stalling a lot, and I didn't want to use a wheelchair. So I left the wheelchair in the front of my car, and I wanted to just wear knee pads and walk around and deal with things on my own. And I kept falling, and a man started getting in my face and yelling at me to uh, stop making it up and stop faking disabilities. But whoop, we are all genderqueer in some way or another, rice cakes. Race cakes. Sorry. Race cakes. <laughs> and unfortunately, I just I had enough. It snapped something in me, and I decided that if people were going to think I was faking something that I don't want to even have, whoop, orgasm time, so sorry. Um, if I'm pretending I have a disability that I don't want to have, and if people are not willing to take my cards or listen to me or anything, and they want to get aggressive with me, I didn't want to be a part of this world anymore. And something I want to make sure you guys know is that you should never give someone that much power over you. You should never give someone that much power over you. And I don't want you to think that it was this one, you know, bad egg that did it. This is something that I deal with a lot. The looks, the uh, yeah. accusations, the confront- confrontation. Um, things have gotten tremendously better since I've had Damien, my service dog, because people can see Damien and be like, oh, home humans disabled. And I mean, I can but vouch for that. Like that I'm disabled? <laughs> no, that you've gotten a lot better <laughs> since you've had Damien. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, thanks, Laura. <laughs> I think they've noticed. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> gender queer giraffe. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Um, Hi. <laughs> Meditation, masturbation, how I overcame Tourette syndrome. Oh, that's a long one. Shut up, Flora. Um, I popped a yeah. pimple or something and I'm ble- my face is bleeding. <laughs> God, I love America. So, I'm sorry to anyone. It's just, I had to address it. Because if you ever see this and you're like, the hell is she doing? What are they doing? Yeah, whatever. I'm, I feel like I'm getting used to your pronouns faster than <laughs> I know, because I never use them on me. Okay, well, whatever makes you most comfortable, you let me know, okay? Just your identity li- is valid. literally call me whatever you want. I really don't care. All right, so that ding-dong over there. Hi. I rambled a lot. Um, but essentially, what I want to tell you is I didn't try to kill myself because of one person. I didn't try to kill myself because of two people. I didn't try to kill myself because I'm ungrateful for the things I had. I tried to kill myself because I thought that because I have a disability, I was too weak to handle it, and I didn't deserve to be on this earth anymore. And that it was too painful and that I didn't want to be on this earth anymore. But I'm telling you guys one thing. 
I want to be on this earth. I want to live. You guys may or may not want me on this earth, but too dang bad. Too bad. You know, I need you. I need you here. I do. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Laura and I have both lost immediate family members to suicide. Hey, who's in the group? I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah. That's how I cope. I have really dark humor when it comes to um, situations like we this. Um, I'm still bleeding. From a long time ago. <laughs> it's called like losing a family member to suicide. I lost my father. Um, oh, is it my turn to say who I lost? <laughs> you don't have to. Oh, I, I lost my brother, but... <laughs> I, yeah. just, I literally just shrugged and went like, eh. But... <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. This is just how I cope. I mean, I, I miss him every yeah. every day, but every know. day. And it, I, Laura, does it get easier? Yes or no? My answer is sometimes. I mean, certain things get easier. Certain things get harder. Yeah. Some things stay the exact same. It and really depends. Are- it really depends on you and how your mental health is and everything. Yep. The hell was that? Do do do. So, everybody, thank you for listening to us ramble. We will have more organized things in the future. Or and not. If you guys like have... Say, hey, ding dong, stop. <laughs> if you have any, like, ideas for um, things you want us to talk about or whatever, um, comment them and I'll read them to Emily and I'll write some stuff down and we'll figure it oh, out. Oh, yeah. And another one, another one that we have to talk about is the impact of Tourette syndrome on kids in school. Um, because I have a couple parents emailing me asking me questions about what it's like for what you know their kids should expect. So I would be glad to talk about that. And yeah. Laura can talk about dyslexia in school because, uh, okay. boy, school is not easy for the both of us. Nope. I mean, I was in private school, school for pretty much my milk, whole life. Drink your milk. What? And, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to give advice. Right. Oh. <laughs> Remember, wear a mask. Drink your drugs and do your milk. No, sh- Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.